Mommy, I'd like to buy Miss Gilbert a future gift. What should I get her? A free haircut for me. <laughs> she likes scarves. It's a good way to hide a hickey, but I kind of get in her business. Can you live with that decision? She likes yellow. We could buy her a yellow one. Do you know how many shades of yellow there are? <laughs> There's flirty yellow, plain Jane yellow, hot yellow, sad yellow, faked yellow, easy yellow. And what if you go the wrong way? Can you live with that decision? She looks good in red. <laughs> Let me tell you about red, okay? Red doesn't know what she wants. One day she's ditzy red, next day she's daddy's girl red, then spank me red, rich red, French red, no, faux red. There are so many ways to mess up your life with red. Can you live with that decision? Beige is neutral. At least it won't get her pregnant. I wonder what my boss will get me this year for Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, my boss gave to me a stapler for all to see. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my boss gave to me twelve boring meetings, eleven new assignments, ten working weekends, nine tangled wires, eight lost orders, seven files to file, six printing problems, five customer complaints. Four missile calls, three bad headaches, two sharpie pens, and a stapler for all to see. Yes! Isn't burn toast supposed to be bad for you? Oh, absolutely not. In fact, burned toast has less calories. Jim, Jim, listen, as a former cheerleader, I have to wonder, are you a real soccer dad? Because I think you're a wannabe. I don't believe you. So here is your assignment. Within the next two hours, I want you to find, no, I want you to hunt down four of the most ginormous crickets you have ever seen. And I want you to eat two of them. And then I want you to bring the other two home and play them in a soccer match. And if you win, Jim, you're a real soccer dad. <laughs> As a former cheerleader, I know how to pick winners. I can't lose. Pick a team that's been on a long losing streak. I can't lose. They're about to start winning. Whatever, we don't know what team to pick. But whatever team your boyfriend and girlfriend picks, you must pick their nemesis. Don't let love get in the way of winning. Are you ready to pick your bracket? I don't know which teams to pick. Only choose teams who do not double tie their shoelaces because they take risk. As a former cheerleader, I know how to pick winners. This has been a former cheerleader special edition March Madness. Now go fill out your bracket.